This is a nachos one. That looks nice good. to meet you. <laughs> High five. <laughs> what the fuck? Uh, Cheek this is a good sub. Appreciate it. Hi, I'm Saul. I'm a professional chef, and this is my $125 nachos ingredients. Hi, I'm Lorenzo, and I'm a home cook. And Jake these to get these are my Four can to get sub. nacho ingredients. I'm on fire! Let's do this. Here we go again. I guess we're making chicken nachos. <laughs> Something smells funny. That's a lot of stuff for nachos. Why, wait, why is there a whole ass fish? What are they gonna do with a whole even, ass fish? I didn't even, 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 even know what's going on. King is the five gifts fish you did. Fishy. The nachos that I was planning to make today, they were gonna be very special. A red snapper aguachile nachos with salsa matcha and fresh mango. I had a whole fresh red snapper that I was going to cure and serve on an agua chili sauce made from English cucumbers, lime, and serrano peppers. I was gonna make a salsa matcha from scratch using three types of dried chilies. This is gonna be spicy, I like spicy. I don't even know what half of these are though. Plus a whole bunch of fancy toppings. Pickled red onions, avocado sauce, chipotle aioli, and fresh mango. Ooh, yum, yum, oh my yum, God. yum. All served on a bed of homemade tortilla chips. That's masa. Exactly. This is way different than my nachos. I fucking take some cheese, throw it on the oh, things, fuck. put it in the it oven, fucking have a little salsa and amazing. sour cream, and good to go. With Lorenzo recipe, I have ingredients that you find on your pantry or your local store. But we're gonna make this amazing. Watch me. If I had to guess, all this will cost twelve seventy-five. But due to the inflation, now it's probably eighteen seventy-five. Thirteen dollars. Yeah. <laughs> $195. Oh, okay. A little bit more reasonable. Yeah, $135 this is nachos. Saul's Very reasonable. Ingredients book. This is just ingredients. Saul's top tier chef. Stuff Good to know. I am making know who homemade that was. tortillas. I don't feel well. <laughs> Lorenzo, when making these tortilla chips, this is like the base, so you have to make sure the nice, golden, crispy chips. Don't mess it up. <laughs> is Rose available today? Yes! Rose! Always happy to get your call, Lorenzo. I'm supposed to make nachos. Well, why don't we... Small fun fact for you, chat. And this might sound really, really, really weird, but I promise you it works. If you ever get a seriously, seriously bad... Uh, Bloody nose. That feels good. This apple cider vinegar, put it like on a um, cotton ball and put it in your nose. It will, it'll stop it almost instantly. Don't know how, don't know why, don't know any of the science behind it. Just Start happens. Start with the tortillas. Yeah, the tortillas. That's the base sure of your nachos. You probably have some masa harina there, which is the- I only, yes, I only know this because my mom had kind of knew and there was one time when I was younger, I was like 17 or 18, I got one really bad at home. And I was talking like, I literally, like I lost enough blood to get like a little dizzy. And if you know, if you're a bigger dude, you have a lot of fucking blood. I was fucking gushing for like 30 minutes, just nonstop. My whole bathroom looked like a murder scene. And then like, we tried that, just boop, just stopped. Flour, I would start with about two cups a little bit of salt and add about one cup of warm water. And then you're going to basically keep mixing until you have a dough that's pliable, but not sticky. That feels good. Um, wow. Uh, Piranha needs a three guys. gifties, appreciate it. So Stay once you've made your dough, tough. you're gonna take golf ball size, you know, chunks, I guess. So Lorenzo, when you're about to press the tortillas, make sure you use a, a Ziploc bag, cut it in half, one in each side to, to prevent the tortilla from sticking to All your right. tortilla press. And then just press gently yeah, until it's well, completely even selection. and you're gonna have a tortilla. It's as simple as that. Wow, wow. so cool, so cool. All right, okay, that's kind of so lit. I'm not gonna lie. Making your own tortillas, that's kind of lit. How do I make the chips? You're going to take your tortillas whole. We haven't, they haven't even started making it yet, so. a little bit on each side on a very hot griddle. Then you're gonna take them out. You're gonna cool them down completely stack them up 
Take a knife and just make a straight slice and put them in about 350 degrees Fahrenheit. Boink, boink. <laughs> Excuse the sound. Fry them till they're golden brown. I'm pulling the trigger. Ooh. Take them out, drain them, and sprinkle with salt. Good to go. And there you have it. Homemade Fresh, tortilla homemade chips? Homemade tortilla chips. Thank you, Rose. So Lorenzo sent me a typical uh, ingredients for nachos. And what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna make upside down nachos. So I'm gonna be using corn tortilla chips for my nachos, but I'm gonna make an extra type of chip. Cheese chip for my nachos. So Lorenzo sent me this cheese mix. It's a blend of a lot of cheese. Apparently it's Mexican blend. I don't see any Mexican cheese in there. So what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna put enough of the uh, cheese in here. So let me make sure it's nice and even. I'm gonna bake this at 375 for maybe eight to 12 minutes. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Oh la la. I just made cheese cookies. I'm just gonna put it to a side, let it sit for like 10, 15 minutes. <sighs> So they get a little bit cold. You know you can sit on the back part of the train range mount near the singer bot it. on the right side? No. Yeah. No. I am going to fillet you, fish. I have filleted a fish. Wait. Wait. Stop. It should be fine, but it's his blood, so, so it might be like a little up, bit of a gray I'm area. Chop it up okay, and we're good. cure it with lime juice and some kosher salt. We are going to let the lime juice and the salt do its thing. It's, it's cooking, so it should fish. be fine, but it should be safe. There you go. So Lorenzo sent me this ground chicken. Uh, I guess that's just to put the cheese cookies. Up. Oh yeah, no, and you're not wrong. Beans. And that looked kind of weird. These ingredients, I'm only thinking of one thing: frijoles charros. It's the Mexican version of the baked beans. Okay, so we do oil. This lovely ground chicken. Remember, make a lot of noise so people don't come into the kitchen and bother you. Now I'm gonna add some onion. Okay, and then jalapeno. Now. You jalapeno, if you don't want this to be hot, don't put jalapeno. It's a pinto bean time. Dump it here, some little water to the bottom. Tomatoes. And now we wanna cook this until this is not a liquid. Moving on to the- Okay, and how long do you have to leave it though to not be a liquid? Because if, I feel like that gets really watery, it's like kind of gross, you know what I mean? Water, spicy, spicy water. Puree cucumber. Cilantro, serrano. Ooh, I shouldn't touch it. Yikes. Onion, a lazza, lime juice. That's nice. Okay. Wow. Nothing cilantro would look really like good. that ground it's up. It's different. It's very fresh. It's very refreshing. For those who don't know what an aguachile is, basically it's the Mexican version of a ceviche. We're not cooking the fish. We're curing the fish. Who's better? You are super? A little bit of salt. You think I would think I'm better than a professional player or a foreign now professional player? You're nuts, man. Cooking in this beautiful mixture now. <sighs> yeah. Perfect. This is delicious. I'm not kidding. Every time I cook, I'm impressed. And now we're gonna add the cilantro. I didn't even know. I didn't even know what's going on. Thanks to the five gifts, man. Thanks, dude. I'm going to chop you guys. Here we go. Oil in, and then I add peanuts, garlic, sesame seeds. I like it already. I mean, I like everything that just went into this olive oil. There. Next, I am going to add you in. Okay. Talk about immediate fragrant. So I'm just gonna let that go and cool off a bit, mm -hmm. a, a few minutes, mm -hmm. 10 minutes or so, mm -hmm. then we'll move on to the next step. Well, Lorenzo sent me these lovely tomatoes, onions, jalapenos, lime, and cilantro, I guess I'm supposed to make pico de gallo? Not today, not today. Instead, I'm gonna be doing a char, tomato, and jalapeno salsa. Charring helps to bring the flavors what? out of anything. So char your vegetables, they will taste delicious. Let's start with the onion. I'm gonna do huh. only half onion. Char. Any mayhem events coming up soon? I'm two hours from Miami? Uh, I live in jalapenos. Boston, man. I don't, you know I don't totally I don't know, uh, but if there was, it probably wouldn't be a high chance I would be there. Mexican oregano. Apple cider vinegar. I love apple cider vinegar. It's good for you, too. And a pinch of salt. Healthy pinch of salt. This is my bad boy. A new outfit. Black okay. chef coat. 
for a brand new tattoo. I don't know if you noticed in the last video, but now I'm a bad boy. Okay, so um, our tomatoes looking okay. Now I'm gonna dice my cilantro. Now let's blend. At least he didn't put it in the blender like the other guy. So I add salt, right? Now I'm gonna add my limes. This is what bad boys do. Well, I like the guy on the left, actually. It looks pretty good. Whoa, whoa. I can feel that. <laughs> That's spicy. Hot. He's not going to flinch. Ready? Why would you do that? I didn't even know what was going on. Oh, Drax Clount. Okay, this is five get to subbies. Appreciate it, man. Thank you, dude. We're making pickled onions. Things like this of Julian, Pickle red onions. onions. And then you're gonna add a little bit of white vinegar, some lime juice, huh. and salt. Let it sit for five minutes, and then you have delicious pickled onions. And there's my first garnish. Hello, mango tango. I, I love mango, and then I love chives too. Uh, I'm just gonna chop them up because it's gonna be a garnish that goes on now the Now arriving at Nijang Bad boy South. time. Look how nice Prepare this for battle. Huh? Paper thing. So now, we're just gonna cut the edges of the tomato. We don't want the heart. You make a sauce with this. Do not throw it away. I'm also gonna use some of these beautiful leaves for garnish for my nachos. And my garnishes are ready. So now I'm gonna make a chipotle aioli. Fancy schmancy. Lorenzo, while making the chipotle aioli, listen very careful. You have mayo and chipotle. Just mix them. What a nice condiment, you know? Ta-da! Okay, so uh, I got this sour cream from Lorenzo's recipe and also got lime, cilantro, and jalapeno. So I'm going to make some cilantro and jalapeno crema. Cilantro, this is like half a bunch. A little bit of water, some jalapeno. It's too mild, this is like pepper. My daughter can eat this. A little bit of lime, a little bit of salt, and sour cream. Okay, ready? One, two, three, go. Higher, 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 higher. And here's my crema for my upside down nachos. Mm. Nice, mild. Yeah, that's for subs is spamming. Can't wait, it's gonna be amazing. I am making some avocado sauce. Said Ryan's trash mate. Nice and right. Thanks, so I'm not asking the subs. Avocado sauce. That's fine. This is my That's signature what's sauce. Ups. Well, it's not really my uh, signature sauce. Imperial is this you get to appreciate it. It's very simple, and those are the ingredients for the guacamole. What's avocado, I miss something? Oh dear, serrano, lime, onion, cilantro, a little bit of salt. Wow, what a nice color. Okay. I'm on fire. Uh, Impeldaria mod, basically, some. I could some. just Appreciate eat that it. with chips. Basically, it adds creamy, spicy element to, to the nachos. Who doesn't like avocado? Who, you know, it's just avocado and chips. It's great. Avocado sauce. I am ready to put this. Get one. Nacho dish together. And remember, we're making upside down nachos. So, watch me. First of all, we're gonna start with the first layer with this lovely Mexican little... blend. <laughs> but it's not really Mexican. It's like taco oil. And now we're gonna do another layer of the Apologize too, so No, you apologize, Julia. Oh my god. I think gosh. Uh, it just appears to Lorenzo, chat. It's a little bit passive man. aggressive to Who wants to be in say thanks right after, after every gifted sub Everybody, because you're not getting, yeah. or you didn't get gifted I'm one. Making a People are picked cake. up on that, so Maybe I don't. I don't know the context. I haven't been paying that much attention. Normally, mods deal with that shit. So, just relax, relax, relax. Nice and caramelize, and don't worry about the bottom. The bottom is gonna melt for sure. I'll be right back. No need but to be tense. I made it. I'm exhausted. <laughs> I'm starting with chips as one would, and I am literally gonna spread it as if it's like one layer, because don't you hate when you go to a restaurant and then the chips all are piled up fire. and there's nothing on the other chip? It drives me crazy. Let's put some um, red snapper or chili everywhere without putting too much liquid. Okay, salsa, matcha, and I wanna get all these beautiful chilies on. And then you're gonna do a little bit of pickled onions, and then some diced mangoes. That mango is gonna be. Ah, uh, Imperial Dread, thanks for the sum. Appreciate it, dude. I do love chives. And we already have onion there. 
and then you, I can never have enough beautiful. Wait, have they put cheese on yet or no? Just for show. Chipotle aioli, you want to, you know, pour all over the nachos. Where's the cheese? Same thing with the avocado aioli. That's basically our sour cream in our hot sauce. Yo, you can't have, have nachos layer. without cheese. I'm doing what? Layer. Can I do another layer? And then you do that again, and again, and again, and again. So I speak this much of nachos. <laughs> and this is my take on Chef Saul's nachos. Chef Saul. It's there? That, that's a, that's a salad. <laughs> Now call me crazy, but that's a fucking salad. Oh, I hope you like it. I personally can't wait to see what you did with my ingredients, but I think I did very well. Oh my gosh, madre de Dios. This is gonna be my Instagram. Follow me. Now, I'm gonna put the chips on top. We're gonna start with my lovely corn chips. These are so good, I don't need to put anything else. Look at these beautiful chips chips. Now I'm gonna add this. What's better than cheese? That just looks greasy, Once though. You got that right. So this for the keto guys diet. And there we go. I'm gonna do some of the sauce. Oh the my! Now, wait a minute. There's no way. On top of the chips because now the now okay. Why can't we have a middle ground? Why can't we have a middle ground where the other one has cheese, and, and this one has less? To make this messy, you want something fresh? Like okay, listen. I don't know if you've ever eaten like much of the cheese like that, right? Like, you ever um. You know, uh, if you put like nachos on a plate, right? You put chips and then put cheese on the top, right? And then you put it in the microwave. If you leave it in for a little long, like sometimes cheese falls off and like crusts on the plate. He basically made cookies or chips based out of that crust, you know? And, and, and like, it, it's really not that good. Like, I, I, I feel like it's, you know, like that's not the part everyone goes for. It's kind of like the... You know, like, oh, there's a little extra cheese on the plate. I'll just, like, you know. Oh, the other guy literally has no cheese on it. And that guy has, like, cheese chips, you know. All right, let's continue on with our adventures. Everything is so fried. And now my jalapenos. Smiling man, thanks for the five gifties. Appreciate it. Thanks, man. Are too chubby. And cilantro. And I'm done. <laughs> These are my upside down nachos with uh, frijoles charros. I hope Lorenzo likes this. And I can't wait to see what he did with my recipe. Chef Saul in the house, what's up? How are you, brother? I'm good, how are you, man? Good. Oh, wow. Good job. Wow, dude. <laughs> okay, looking at these, chat, which one do you actually think is better? Which one do you actually think is better? Give me a one for left, give me a two for right. Two? I agree. I think two looks way, way, way better. Like, presentation alone sells it like the presentation on the right is just unbelievable but also the one on the left is literally a salad <laughs> I hate to say it, but the one on the left is is a literal fucking salad I don't know what he was thinking with this but like nacho is supposed to have some cheese on it no <laughs> really this is something that I will what will serve in Tulum if I ever own a restaurant there it looks For delicious. Real? I mean, look at this. It looks super healthy. Thanks, chef. <laughs> I see. It looks super healthy. Motherfucker, it's nachos. Yeah, f yeah that's an F. Cheese. <laughs> Cheese twills. <clears throat> wow. Well, this is this is what I'm supposed to be eating, and this is what I actually eat. Saul, <laughs> <laughs> let's dig in. Okay. Shall we? Ready? Jump roll. Cheers. Cheers. Oh, cha-ching. <laughs> Oh my god. Wow! I'm in heaven. I'm in heaven, you guys. Why so, is it so yummy? So I think the main the main thing that I did here is the frijoles charros. So I took the uh, ground chicken, sear it, add the uh, pinto beans, serranos, tomatoes, jalapenos, and I make frijoles charros. Like a, a Mexican cowboy beans. <laughs> uh, GG's Argo. It's so good. Okay. Yes! So, yeah. Let me fix the problem. Here. <laughs> you have just Here. made my day! <laughs> Cheers. Now I want to try this. Yes, please. I'm going to be honest, Lorenzo. It looks amazing. Okay. By the way. Yeah, yeah, it looks like a salad, bro. 
Wow. Nervous. Wow. It's F what? delicious. <laughs> it's what? F delicious. This one hurt his feelings. <laughs> Chat, you guys keep asking about the, the price. It's because it's the title of the video. $135 nachos versus $13 nachos. Basically, this guy's a pro chef. The other guy's an amateur slash like home cook um, chef. And basically what they're trying to do is like create what the other guy was going to make. But yeah, it doesn't just because something expensive does not mean it's going to be great. So